So, today we are going to start a Blender character modeling tutorial, specifically uh, in the anime style, a Blender anime character modeling tutorial. And it's going to be for beginners. This is geared towards beginners. This is people who have, you have Blender downloaded onto your machine you're looking at the same thing I'm looking at but you're really you know you're like a baby deer taking the first steps okay you're just you know you, yeah okay you're walking a little bit but you don't really you're not ready to run and you're trying to learn how to model but you want to make something awesome and simultaneously learn the interface and how to model that's what we're gonna do if you are intermediate um, this is probably a little this is definitely gonna be slow for you if you are an advanced user this is going to be painfully slow to you. I'm going to go slow. I'm going to talk about what I'm doing, talk about why I'm doing it, and uh, you can follow along. You can learn a little bit about Blender and character modeling and 3D modeling in general. And uh, and that's that's you know that's one of the ways we learn. It's one of the ways humans learn. Okay, so let me make sure I got screencast keys on. Yep, yeah, cool, cool. That's on. Um, so everything I do is going to be down here. Like if I push this, see in the left hand corner right here. So this is, these are the buttons that I push. You don't have to worry about seeing those, just that it's more for you, just so you can see what I'm, uh, what I'm using. So first thing we want to do is we want to add an add-on. We want to enable an add-on. So we're going to go to up here, edit, preferences, add-ons, and here we're going to look for loop tools, okay? Loop tools right there. You type loop right there and you click this button right there to enable mesh loop tools. And then we're going to X out of that. That's enabled. Cool. Okay. Now we want to add a reference image. Okay. Reference images are vital. Anytime you want to model something, you got to have a reference image. Okay. So we're going to add a reference image. And in the description, I've added a link to an image that you can download off the internet, the interwebs, the information superhighway. And it is a, of a generic anime face, right? So anime really kind of has a very stylized look and feel. And it is kind of a template. And we're going to run with that template and use this as a base, use this as, use this as a foundation. And then, you know, when it comes time to make hair, or skin color, or eye color, or anything like that, then go ahead and get creative and go hog wild and you know make uh, the styles whatever you think they need to be. But at the very beginning, you really want to kind of run with what people are already doing, right? It's there, it's a template, use it, um, embrace it. That's just part of the process, okay? So we're gonna add a reference image. Now, to do that, you want to be in front view. See how we're, we're kind of looking at this camera at an angle. We're looking at the the whole scene at an angle. All right. We want to delete the cube and then hit numpad one. Numpad one. See that right there? Numpad one. Awesome. This is front view. Okay. You can see it right up here. Front orthographic view. And you can play around with the views. If I hit numpad three, it takes me to side view or right orthographic. Numpad one, numpad three. So I hit numpad one and I'm back here and then I'm gonna hit shift A. Okay. And that pops up a menu uh, that you can, you know, you can add stuff, A, add stuff to the environment. And we want to add an image and a reference image. Okay. So then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go here. And we here, anime girl face proportions side and front view. That's what I'm talking about. Load reference image. Boom, right there. Got it. Okay. So you should have that right there. Okay. Um, which is kind of awesome. We want to flip this horizontally. Okay. Because if we go into side view, she's she'd be looking behind her. So we want to flip this horizontally. So we're going to select it and we're going to hit scale X negative one and it flips it and then enter okay and that 
flipped it. Flipped it 180 degrees on the x-axis, which is pretty awesome. Okay, all right, and then we can mess with the opacity, which is down here. This right here, these are your properties. This is where you're really gonna mess with uh, the stuff in the environment. And you're gonna click on this one right here, the little triangle dot and square. It looks like a little landscape. You're gonna click on that. And you select transparency. And you're gonna bring the transparency down to 0.1. Okay, and that, well, it, that does exactly that. It, it, it messes with the transparency. You can play around with it. You can, you know, if you want it to be a little darker, you want it to be a little lighter, that's fine. And then we want to center it. So we're going to go G to grab. Okay. And then we want to move it along the X axis. And you see the red highlight. And then we're just going to move the mouse. And that moves the reference image. Okay. And you can zoom, you can scroll in, and you can see, okay, we're right on the nose right here, right on the mouth right there. This is about. 50%. I'm, I'm okay with calling this 50%. We want to bring it up a little bit. And we'll call that right there. Okay. If you hit shift and the middle mouse button, you can move, you can kind of drag your composition anywhere, right? Which is kind of awesome. This is how it looks in front view one. Now, when I hit numpad three and move to side view, I can't see anything. Okay. So we need to create a side view as well. We're going to take this image that we already have and we're going to duplicate it with shift D. Okay. That creates a duplicate copy, right? And look up here. We have two empties right now. If we get rid of this one and rid of this one, now they're gone. Bring one back, bring one back. So the second one, we want to rotate the image R on the Z axis, 90 degrees and hit enter. And do you see it right here? So this is, you know, because it's a flat image. And so we essentially rotated it 90 degrees along the z-axis, around the z-axis. So if we hit numpad three, hey, there we go. Look at that. Look what we have there. So we have two images right here and another one right here, which is kind of awesome. Now we need to line this up and we can use, um, we're going to use where the where the mandible meets the ear, where the jawline meets the ear. So we're going to hit G, Y, and then move it forward. Okay. And this right here, you see this right here, this, this spot, move it a little front. If you want to move it back, G for grab, Y for the axis you're moving it on. And then you can drag and I'm going to put it right there. Okay. So that's a good enough spot for me on the right hand side. Now you want to label your layers. This is, this is just a great habit to get into. Okay. I'm going to call this reference image side, and I'm going to call this reference image front. Okay. And I think that's good. So we got, there's your side view and then numpad one, and here's your front view. And right now we're ready to start modeling right now. You should have two reference images, one in front view, numpad one, and one in side view, numpad three, both lined up. You see how these are, they're equally lined up and we've labeled them. And now we want to save this immediately. So we're going to save our work, get in the habit of saving your work early and often, man. Okay. I'm going to go in the blender character modeling tutorial folder and then call it whatever you want. Okay. So I'm going to call this blender character modeling tutorial. You know what? Blender animate character modeling tutorial. Blender animate character modeling tutorial. There we go. I'm going to save it. And that's awesome. And I hope you were able to do that. And if you weren't, if that was too challenging or that kind of knocked you down or, you know, took you to a place that you got frustrated and, you know, it just made you kind of want to not be around Blender. Hey, look, you're going to get frustrated. That happens. It's part of the process. Just embrace it and move forward, but just stick at it. If you have a question, ask the internet, ask the community, ask Stack Exchange, ask Reddit, post in the comments, like help each other out. Um, so if any of this was unclear or uh, just moved too fast or confusing for whatever reason, 
uh, let me know in the comment section or send me an email and uh, we'll try and we'll try and get you understanding this because the world of 3d is awesome and modeling is just a great door to walk through um, on your on your journey into 3d right there's a lot of different ways to learn anything and drilling is obviously the best way because well it, it's really the only thing that, that hits adaptive recall you learn something you forget it you learn it again you forget it again you learn it again you forget it again and then eventually it kicks over into to long-term memory right memorizing doesn't work and for learning anything long term the only way we learn anything long term is by way of adaptive recall so model every day come and model a little bit every day or a lot of it every day and you'll you'll get good at this which is awesome so this i'm going to call this here and in the next video we're going to start modeling we have a reference image ready and we're ready to go and it's going to be awesome so make yourself a cup of coffee get up stretch bend do a, a, a lunge or a crunch get some blood circulating stay hydrated um, do some mantras say a prayer and uh, and then come back to it and we're gonna start modeling we're gonna do blender anime character modeling tutorial we got this you can do this I believe in you and I'll see you in a bit